This video was made possible by Squarespace. Build your website for 10% off at squarespace.com forward slash Nick Zamelli. So I picked this up at a car booty. I just saw it and I thought, happy days. I really wanted to restore it. This looks so old. I know that there's a few of these on the internet already, and I think a few people have restored them. To be fair, I didn't actually know that until I bought it and brought it back home and started Googling it. I just looked at it and I thought that could be really quite cool restored, but not just restored, um, but also maybe made into something. I'm thinking maybe a light. Um, which might be quite cool. Um, I bought some bits and pieces to do this restoration because initially I thought this was copper, but I actually don't think it is. I'm not too sure what type of metal it is. This undoes this thing, which I thought maybe we could stick the light in there. Two thousand years later. I thought maybe we could we could drill a hole out in there and stick the light in it. We'll obviously need to get all this paint off of it because I don't really like the red to be to be honest. But so you can get inside it. Look inside there. So it's like a really old fire extinguisher. Yeah, I just think it's got some really cool character to it. Quite old fashioned. So a bit of a restoration and maybe turn it into some kind of light is what I'm thinking about. So first of all, I got myself a little bit of a tub. And what we got as well is some of this stuff. Instant copper. Instant brass and copper tarnish remover. Apparently, this is the bee's nuts. So we're gonna give this a bash first of all, but I've also bought some other bits and pieces. So I've got myself some copper cream. Not really too sure um, how to use that, but we'll look into that in a minute. Some brass and copper restorer. I've got some quick shine, brass and copper bath, cleans and shines, no rubbing, no work. And I've also got this copper shine shampoo. Copper shine shampoo. Let's hope this is copper. But I don't know, we'll give this a bash and see what happens. Because it's got lots of marks on it and like distortion bits and things like that. This is pretty, obviously that's not copper, but you know, this is pretty knackered as well. But it's got loads of marks in it and things and... I don't know. I don't even know how that's going to come up. That I think that's brass, and that bit, um, and these bits are brass. It might. It might be. I don't know. We're gonna go. We're gonna go with this stuff. I'm gonna spray this on. Apparently, this is really powerful. You spray this on, and it sort of just removes the tarnish. <laughs> Well, with this stuff, we've got to leave it on there for a minute. Can't let it dry, it says, and then we just wipe it off, apparently. Well, I suppose it's taken bits and pieces off here, but still quite a lot of tarnish here, isn't there? So lots of black marks on it and stuff. So I don't know, I'll give it another spray. So this is just soaking in now. Um, I so it's just so I've just put it down here just to spray the whole the whole of it. And actually it is working. I've not even touched it, that stuff, and it's you can see that it's already started to take it off. I'm kind of thinking this is copper, you know. <laughs> I don't know. But um certainly taking off that that initial look. Um that marks and stuff. It's still got lots of lots of other marks on it obviously, but there's the brass bit as well that's it's coming off of there it's quite toxic 
um, but it definitely does remove this fairly. This is from the States, so I had to get this in. I found actually um, th this one in the UK, but this is actually from the States apparently. Flitz, this is quite cool. Um, not sponsored by Flitz, by the way. <laughs> I just saw it being used on a project and I thought this would be ideal. So this has been on about a minute now, so I'm gonna wipe this down. Um, just to sort of like, well, that's yeah, obviously gonna need a lot more work than that, but that's pretty good. Um, let's give it a wipe. we go that certainly isn't finished but that's come up not so bad so um but that's uh, come up pretty well there's a few more bits of paint in there well, this bit was painted black i don't know whether to do that again to bring that out or not or just leave that as it is might leave it as it is um but um i think the best thing that i used was this instant uh brass and copper remover that was the best thing Obviously used a bit of that stuff as well, which is not bad. And then we used some of this as well, which wasn't bad as well. But again, this was definitely, definitely the best stuff. Um, hose has come up all right. Needs a little bit more of a shine on the bottom there, but that's not too bad. So far, so good. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get the buffing wheel out and I'm gonna sort of buff this up if I can get this to come up really nice and shiny. Hopefully get rid of this, the rest of this black. Uh, shine that up on the corner there, the hose connection. Um, and then see what that brings us. And then we've got to try and clean this up. I think I'm gonna get the old uh, drill on this and um, wire brush and see if we can get that back to bare, bare metal or aluminium or whatever it is. I think it's aluminium, I think. But, uh, all right, let's carry on. We do need to funk this up a little bit. I'm not just gonna clean it up and leave it. We're definitely gonna add some funk to this project. If we didn't, you'd be watching the wrong channel. I've no idea how to do this yet, but we will find out.
this out. So this is what we've got so far. Uh, looking pretty nice actually. Um, it's come up really well. Uh, yeah, there's a few marks and dents and scratches and things in it, but overall, it's actually not bad. I was uh, really, really intrigued and wondered how this was gonna come out. Um, and um, to my surprise, it's actually come out <laughs> the way I kind of wanted it. Um, so it's really nice here, bit of brass I think on the back there. And then a uh, nice copper finish. It's nice, nice little brass uh, studs on the back. But, um, but we're not just gonna finish it there. Obviously we've got this pipe there as well. Um, we've got this to sort out. So again, I don't know whether to keep that red or not. I don't think that will look nice red really. No, no, I don't think that would look nice red. Well then, it matches the hose, but I don't know. I'm gonna um, get all this paint off of here and see what we've got to contend with. And then what we're gonna then do is we're gonna make this, we're gonna drill a hole in this and make this into some kind of a funky looking light, I think, which I reckon is gonna be pretty cool. <laughs> getting there I might do the rest of this off camera just because I'm sure you don't want to see me trying to get this off it's gonna take me a little while check that out hey eh? looks like a piece of gold definitely gonna keep this like this just took ages to get this red paint off of it but that looks awesome I haven't finished yet I'm gonna try and buff this bad boy up <laughs> that out now who would make this and then paint it red that is beautiful that looks very nice indeed very nice okay this is looking pretty cool if I say so myself but I've had a thought now that could be dangerous but I think it might look quite cool and a bit funky. However, if it doesn't work, <laughs> it will ruin this whole project. So what I'm thinking about doing is using this to add a few effects to this copper. Now, I know it looks nice and it does. It looks brand new to be fair. Um, and I really like it. We're yet to turn it into a light, but I'm gonna do that. Because as much as this does look really quite nice, it's kind of like, well, I don't know. It is what it is, isn't it? You know, this is probably what it looked like, or similar, when it was first manufactured. But I'm thinking that maybe, I'm wondering whether or not I burn it in some areas to make some really cool patterns. Not too sure if that will work, or even if it will look any good. And obviously I think once it's burnt, I don't think there's any going back. What we'd do is maybe burn the bottom bit down here and see how that works. Now I know a lot of you are going no! No! But bear with me What do you reckon of that? Question is, do we do it for the whole thing? 
<laughs> you know what I'm thinking, don't you? I think we do it for the whole thing. Let's do this. Now I'm gonna use this black wire because it complements the piece really nicely and it looks perfect. Plus, it's the only one I've got. Uh, okay, so I've made a bit of a boo-boo. Um, <laughs> um, I should have really pu pushed that through here first and then then put it through there because now I can't get this down there very easily and get it through there very easily. So I'm going to have to disassemble this, put it through there, back up there, and then Bob is your uncle. What we also need to do is put this little badger on there as well. Now, what this does, and I know I had a few comments on uh, <laughs> on this little thing last time I did a light project. Um, what this does is, is it goes inside here um, and it will, uh, I will tighten it to the wire so far down uh, here somewhere, well, a bit further down. And then what happens is, is if this wire here ever gets caught, buy something and and you trip over it and you yank it it won't yank it out of here because there'll be no sort of pressure there this will stop that because it will hit this in here uh which will kind of like you know well stop you from pulling the wires out of this really which will you know be a bit of a pain in the bum see what happens here is it gets stuck like that so whenever you trip up you just pull that and it doesn't pull this. And that is what we want. Right, now put this back together.
Okay, so the lamp holder is now in, and we've got this nice little switch here that we can turn it on and off with, which is pretty cool. Uh, and we've got the wire in here as well, uh, and a little um, uh, sort of stopper as well to stop it from getting cut. Uh, happy days. So now we just need to find a really cool bulb for this. Okay, so we need to now find a funky looking bulb. I mean, I want something a little bit different to really kind of like just make it look really weird. So I've grabbed my little tub of funkiness. And I reckon there's definitely something pretty cool that we can use in here. We've just got to find it. Now there's quite a bit of stuff in here. Well, that's not what we're after. No idea what that is. Ahoy! I'm pretty sure there's a bulb in here somewhere. Ah! Hmm. I don't know. I mean, it's a pretty cool bowl, but I'm not too sure if that's kind of what we're after. What do you think? It might look quite good, but I'm thinking maybe we look for something a bit bigger, something a little bit different. There's definitely more funkiness in this pot. Ah! Now that is a bigger bulb. What do you reckon about that? I reckon that could look pretty cool. I'm still thinking bigger. Um, yeah, not quite what we need. Okay, I think I found it. I knew it was in here somewhere. What about this? <laughs> Check that out. Now that is a big bowl and definitely pretty funky. Ah. I knew my pot of funkiness wouldn't let us down. I reckon that is going to look pretty awesome in there. <laughs> I have never seen a bulb like this before in my life. Not this size. Have you? Well, you have now. I love it. This is pretty awesome. I reckon this is going to look pretty cool in this project. And I think just what we're looking for. I think I would say happy days. Right, let's give this a bash. Well, not literally. because I think that might break it. But let's see what this is going to look like. What do you reckon? Um, I thought I would do this little kind of restoration stroke kind of light thing for you. Um, as I say, I kind of saw this uh, at a car boot sale and I thought to myself, yep, yeah, definitely could do something with that. Um, originally, it was just going to be a kind of a restoration, I thought, initially. And then I thought, you know what, I'm going to actually try and turn this into a really cool, funky lamp. Um, and I definitely think that is funky. <laughs> um, so it turned out pretty well, I really like this idea. This has now given me a few more ideas on another project that I'm going to be doing for you guys. Um, so uh, stick with me on this one. This turned out really nice, it's come out really well. And check out this big 
bulb. Have you ever seen a bulb that big before? I haven't, but I have now. And if you're wondering where I got this from, it came in this huge box. <laughs> um, and look at that. It's, is it Kerlax? Kellex. Kellex Holland, it says on it. Let me tell you where I actually got this from. I got this from Multi hyphen light international lamp sales i'll leave a link for these guys uh where i got this bulb from it wasn't actually overly expensive considering the size of this thing this was about 40 pounds i think 40 40 pounds which is about i don't know 50 bucks i suppose yeah you know you could look at it and think well that's expensive for a bulb but i mean look at the size of it you know there's about 10 bulbs in there um i really love it actually i saw it and I thought, you know what, I definitely will be able to incorporate that into something really cool. Um, and I think that works really well. Um, it's a pretty solid bulb, it's pretty heavy. So I don't think that it's, you know, you'd have a hard time smashing it. But but, but then again, you know, I mean, it's, if it fell over, it probably would smash. And it's got, this has got the little on and off switch on this little light here. So you just turn this off. On. <laughs> Um, and that's it really so um, I'll leave a link below for where I got the bulb anyway just so that you guys if you want to pick them up they don't just do those they do like all sorts of different sizes uh, shapes and sizes different you know all sorts of different ones so that and that's pretty cool I love it just while I'm on don't forget Makers Central is coming up we're about two months away now guys if you don't know about this show it's in the UK at the NEC in Birmingham. We'd love for you to come along. I'm going to be there. Loads of other makers are going to be there. Um, and if you are a maker, just to ask you guys, just in case you want to stick something in for the prize draw, we've had a lot of people make some stuff that we can add for the prize draw and all the money that, uh, that we raise from that goes to the NSPCC. Um, you can check it out on the website. So if you fancy kind of making something or donating something for the prize draw, that would be absolutely amazing. Uh, just let me know, email me, message me, or you can email on the info at makerscentral.co.uk. Let us know what you're uh, going to be donating, or if you're going to make something like a bowl, or I don't know, whatever, a chessboard. Um, we've got one of those already to give away. That's going to be auctioned off somehow. I'm not too sure yet how, but it will be. Um, and... Um, Anything really that you fancy giving. We had a maker machine given away last time from Works by Solo. Bernie has been kind enough to donate one of those again. And we've had loads of other things uh, being donated. Dremel, Record Power, Triton. Uh, they've all kind of donated stuff. There's more than that. So uh, if you check the website on the price draw. But again, oh, <laughs> sorry waffling on a little bit. But if you want to donate something for the price draw, make something for the, for the draw, that'd be cool. We're going to be doing the draw on the day so we've got one on saturday and one on sunday happy days well i hope that you like the project guys please check out all the links below in the description there's tons of links in there for you guys check out my instagram page facebook page and my patreon page i am working on a few things at the moment one of them actually two of them with pencils uh, i haven't done a pencil project for a while so look out for that and obviously my other idea that i've got with this type of method with the copper that will be coming up soon as well. If you haven't seen my metal shavings and resin table, please check that out. That was done a couple of weeks back now. Uh, so please have a look at that. Uh, that was really cool. I really enjoyed doing that. And I mixed up loads of swarf uh, and mixed it with resin and stuck it in a table. Because we kind of do that sort of stuff here. Oh, one thing I did want to show you guys. Happy days! <laughs> I finally got my 100,000 subscriber play button though so it's not really a play button anymore it's kind of just a piece of glass stuck in a bit of aluminium um, which is a little bit of a bummer because I was kind of hoping that I was gonna get like this really nice sort of because they used to do these like aluminium or I don't know what they were made of actually but they're actual play buttons kind of a bit like that one up there that I made I don't know if you've seen that um, this one Ooh. I made this one myself. <laughs> it's got a little bit dusty. Uh, congratulations to me for hitting 50,000 subscribers. <laughs> and I made that out of pencils. I don't know if you've seen that. There is a video up for this. Um, but obviously, as you can see there, that's actually like a play button. And they used to do them for, for you hitting 100,000. But they obviously don't anymore. So 
a bit of a shame. But still, I'm pretty pleased that I've got it. So, um, pretty chuffed. Uh, thanks very much, YouTube, for sending this down. Uh, really loving it. Presented to Nick Zamedi for, for passing 100,000 subscribers. Oh, I think I've kind of like knocked off the, the thing off there, and I've got a couple of dents in there already. That's not good, is it? I must have knocked it somewhere. So I shall hang this up in my new shop when I get it. <laughs> um, so just thought I'd show you that. I have had a couple of bits of post, um, but I haven't managed to get it up. And sorry, I haven't put a video up for a while. Uh, or a waffle, but I will do and uh, say if you sent me something in the post there are a few things I haven't managed to get around to opening yet. Sorry about that, some letters, stickers, bits and pieces. Um, but again, I really do appreciate you sending me this stuff. Uh, if you want to send me any stuff, the PA box is in the description below. But again, I will get around to doing it um, soon. Well, I'll stop waffling on now because I'm probably conscious of the fact that it is probably a little bit of a longer waffle at the end. But then again, I didn't waffle at the beginning of my video last time and, and I know that you guys missed that. So here I am, waffling to you. I really hope you like this project. Um, it is, I, I really enjoyed restoring this. Um, I do like restoring stuff. Uh, I've actually since bought another one of these because they sell these on eBay. Um, that's really cool. So I bought another one, different, and this is from the USA, this says. Um, but I want to restore that as well. I'm not too sure what to do with that yet. Maybe make it into another light. But I probably won't film it because you don't want to see me do it again. But I just thought I'd do it because I really enjoyed doing that one. It was really cool. And using some of the products that I found, um, that instant kind of copper and uh, brass remover was brilliant. That was really cool. I love that. Sprayed it on there a few times and that worked really, really well. I'm still waffling, so I'm conscious of that factor. Um, but um, And I've got so many things to say, but I'm trying to cram them all into one video and I probably shouldn't do. But before we go, I just want to say thank you to today's sponsor, Squarespace. So if you guys are thinking about setting up a website, Squarespace is definitely a fantastic place to start. Squarespace has got award-winning templates, which you can pick and choose from, great marketing tools, which you're gonna need, and also, which is really important, fantastic 24-7 customer support. And if you've already got an existing domain, you can transfer it over to Squarespace. Nice and easy. And we like easy, happy days. So if you're ready to set up a new website, head on over to squarespace.com forward slash Nixamedi for a free trial. You can build your website in there, and when you're ready to launch, you get 10% off. Only if you follow my links, of course. Happy days, Squarespace. Thanks very much for sponsoring this video. A pretty cool sponsor to have. And if you're into making stuff and you want to sell it, you're going to need a website. I'll leave the links below for Squarespace, so if you could check them out, that would really help me out. Well, thanks for watching the channel, guys. I really do hope that you like the project today. Have a fabulous, fantastic, funky weekend. And I'll see you for the next one. Take care.